Hi, this is Maji Noni. Here's my reviews for The Amazing Spider-Man 663 and X-Force number 11. Um, I'll start with X-Force 11. Um, I realize I didn't do the issue 10, but I'll give you the recap really quick. Basically, what's going on is uh, Archangel's basically turning into Apocalypse. Um, and he's doing that because they killed, you know, Apocalypse. And um, they go to the uh, Dark Beast. And basically he says that you have to go to my world, you have to get this seed from a celestial type thing, and that's the only thing that's going to be able to bring, uh, stop Warren from changing. So, naturally, reluctantly I should say, they, they agree with him, they re and they throw, they go through this uh, teleportation device that allows them to go to the other uh, world, you got three hours to do it, and... Uh, basically, this is what the Age of the Apocalypse looks like after Apocalypse and uh, Sinister are done for. Now, basically, it's what you would expect in the terms of the Dark Beast and what he's going to do with the heroes. You know, eventually, I don't think this is really spoiling anything, but, you know, eventually the heroes get stranded in this uh, world, and now they're basically what they have to do is try to figure out a way to get back. Um, we get to see the... Uh, Age of Apocalypse Heroes, you got Nightcrawler, Sunfire, Wild Child, and Sabretooth. And the battle is actually really cool between the X-Men and these guys. Or I should say X-Force and these guys. Uh, Nightcrawler does a really cool thing here where he uh, grabs Deadpool's head and teleports it off. But, you know, that's Phantom X. He doing his mind illusion stuff. You know, this is not the head you're looking for type thing. Um, oh, but overall, I mean, this, is, this was a really enjoyable book. I, I mean, I know Rick Remender is doing a fantastic job, but I had some hesitation to whether or not this is going to be a good book or not, or in terms of the story. But so far, I think it's living up to it, and um, I'm really, really enjoying it. I think the art is fantastic. Uh, there's a couple, but there's two characters who are being funny: Phantom X and Deadpool. And so that's like a double dose of laughter there, uh, and um, so far. Uh, He's up to a really, really good start. Uh, the last page has the quote-unquote shocker page, so um, I won't ruin that for you guys, but um, obviously it's going to play out later on. I'm, I'm, well, I should word it this way. It's going to play out, but uh, I don't think they're going to... I would be surprised if uh, characters cross over, other than the ones who are supposed to. Uh, but anyways, this was a good read. So if you're not buying uh, Uncanny X-Force, pick up issue 10, which probably will still be available. And um, you'll, you'll, I think uh, like I said, this is off to a good start. Now, with Amazing Spider-Man 663, slot is back. And um, I don't know. the. Now, I'll word it this way. I guess I can word it this way. The art, for me, it's a love-hate. I love it, but there's parts of it I just... There's parts of it I just don't like, and I can't quite put my finger on it, but I really, um, except I am enjoying it, um, to a certain degree. Now, um, overall, this is, um, this was a really entertaining read, I think. Uh, basically what we have is, uh, Anti-Venom and, uh, Wraith, and, uh, I don't think this is a spoiler, just in the sense that, you know, it's already been over the um, internet. But uh, uh, in this issue here, we have the return of Jean DeWolf, and I did a, a video on that trait about her death. So if you don't know who she is, just look back to that one. Now, in this one here, basically, um, Peter's been doing a lot of using his space, basically his Spider-Man technology, you know, his bulletproof suit and things like that and he's developing actual products for it so you know in, her, in terms of Horizon Labs he's doing a good job he's earning his paycheck uh, things are doing really well in his home life he gets involved gets uh, his picture in American Science Journal now here's the thing that you know you have to understand here something bad is going to happen uh, Peter's got a girlfriend the, the relationship is going pretty well for the most part uh, he has an extremely high-paying job. Uh, he's got an apartment that he doesn't have to worry about a bounce check or hiding from the landlord. And uh, he's doing what he loves, science. 
something is going to happen, guaranteed. I don't know what it is, but it's going to be something really, really bad. And um, I can't wait to see what type of story that's going to develop into. Um, but anyways, in this issue here, basically you have um, uh, Anti-Venom. He's going after that Mr. Negative guy. And Spider-Man gets involved. And so it's basically what's going on here is you're, you're going to have um, Wraith is, is attacking uh, criminals. And uh, eventually that their path is her path is going to cross... Um, the anti-venom Spider-Man uh, negative guys uh, battle. So I'm kind of curious to see how that's going to go. Uh, this is basically, like I said, this is the first issue here. So I'm really, I'm, I'm really actually hopeful to see what happens. Slot's doing a fantastic job with Spider-Man right now, and uh, I look forward to seeing what happens. There's also a um, couple backup features here. There's one with uh, Cloak and Dag cloak and dagger here and this is basically part of the infested thing and then you also get a backup store here thanks but no thanks um, for the most part both two solid stories uh, Marvel has been doing a phenomenal fantastic job and they're I think they're hitting it uh, more often than not at least for their uh, top titles so they're doing a great job uh, if you have any comments or questions let me know rate the video up or down let me know what you think and I'll have more reviews up later. So until next